Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. That'll be taken in the end zone. And all that worked, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he's simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. sign of what's in store as he has to fight just to get back to the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the game's first play. And it's second down now. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. It'll wind up being a loss of two. And it'll be a third and about 13. it to Henry and he'll be stopped at the 27 yard line well short of the first down marker there's an example of good situational football being played by a defense they understood where the third down play was the down and distance and made sure that they didn't get anywhere near that bringing up fourth down yeah, they were sniffing out that marker didn't want to let him get close to there and now a likely three and out to start yeah I love the way they rallied to the football and got to him and made sure he didn't give up much run after catch Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Now a first carry for Melvin Gordon. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice, solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. A give to the brother of J.J. This is Derek Watt. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. A gain of five. Good enough for the first down. Well, not a lot of flash and dash on that play. Second and two, and they hand it to the big man. And he ends up picking up a first down. A little bit of gray area there, though. But I think what they thought, hey, we hand it to him here. If we come back and don't get it, we still got another down to try and pick it up. First down. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. That's going to go as a loss of four, and it'll be second down. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result, negative yardage. Check green 90, black 11. Throwing on second and 14. Rivers. And this is caught. First catch for Keenan Allen. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans' 34-yard line. So operating from Tennessee territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 34. Now Rivers going to give it off to Gordon. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. The success there, Charles, coming on the outside of the field, the ground game. Curious to see if that continues as we progress. Yeah, we often talk about a variety in play calling and usually between run and pass. But in this case, with strictly the run game, 
You can be creative there as well. Run it inside, run it outside, keep the defense off balance. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. Rivers going to turn and give this one to his running back, Gordon. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. Third and two. This black 15. Check 55 to Mike. Watch QB drop. Trying to power it ahead with one. And he will have the first down across the 20 to the 19-yard line. Move the chains, a gain of seven on third down. Chargers, first down. First and ten at the 19 We're scoreless after one. That's the end of the first quarter with no score. Charger football to start quarter number two as they've got it with a first and ten. Mike. Get 180, 380. Mike. I'm coming after you. I'm coming after you. Behind. From the red zone now, Rivers. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Once you get into the red zone and the safeties have less ground to cover, you better be quick with your delivery. Not much space to get a ball in there. Yeah, and when that field shrinks with those safeties, it's almost like there's a couple extra defenders out there, right? It certainly is. They end up taking up extra space just because there's not enough space for receivers to run through. To throw once more on second and ten. Rivers, nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Jarrell Casey with a little how do you do as he gets in there for the sack. So it's third and long for the Chargers and Rivers after the sack. From the shotgun, it's Rivers. Completes it to Benjamin. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And it all came together there. In breaking route, drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. They'll try and punch it in. Gordon. And he is not going to get through here on try number one. They stop him at the goal line. Call it no gain, and it's going to be second and goal. Another shot from the one on second and goal. Uh, give to the fullback. This is Ron. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Los Angeles. Derek Watt taking it in as his guys are first out of the scoreboard here this afternoon. Extra point by Badgley up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. And the last drive, their first drive, three and out. What changes here, if anything? I think it's making sure the guys that you trust the most with the ball, the biggest playmakers you have, that they touch it on this possession to try and get things moving. So get it to the horses. Without a doubt. They're the ones that typically end up in the end zone. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Two times, two times, two Derek Henry. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. On any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking, and that's from the offensive linemen creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before that he always told his runners, run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. We remind you that coming up in two minutes' time, we'll hand you off to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis of this first half of action. Hit from behind, and he's going to be driven down. The former number.